Nick, everybody here at the Steel Fox Academy must be buzzing this week after the news from the EPPP. Uh, yeah, it's great news. It's nothing that we didn't already know, but to see it in black and white and to have it uh, arrive officially from the Premier League that we've got such a good uh, record for productivity is great news for everyone. Gives everybody a lift, definitely. It shows that the, the product's working, doesn't it? There's obviously been players that have come through this system, but there's a lot of hard work that goes on down here at Chelsea. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's not just the current group of staff. That stat that we've, we've put out there this week is an indicator of our performance over the last 12 years. So it's not just me, it's the predecessors and everybody who's put the hard work in over the years. Um, so it's a, it's a great news for everybody. Is, is the big goal, is, is the big show, is, is seeing people develop and getting into that first team squad. There's been one this week again, Don Calvert-Lewin was on the bench at Blackpool. Yeah, look, that's the only reason that we exist, it's to, to provide players for our first team. Obviously there's lots of smaller goals in there because we start with the kids at six and seven years old and so there's lots of little challenges along the way but the ultimate goal for us as an academy is to produce first team players and, and the big thing for an academy, the most important resource that we can have is opportunity at the end of that journey, it's uh, so important. You say the kids coming here at six, seven, eight, all the way up to, up to the 18s, there's a lot more goes on at this place isn't there, that, that, that playing games from sixes to sevens to 18s, just tell us a little bit about what else goes on around this place. Absolutely, we're, we're really proud of our programme. I would have to say that I think of all the programmes I've worked in, this is the most comprehensive. Um, so we've got uh, a journey really from 7 through to 21 that's been devised to make sure the boys get the right experiences at the right time. And yes, we spend a lot of time in the traditional way, on the pitch, working with the boys as groups and as individuals to try and develop them technically and tactically but we've added a lot to the programme as well which we think adds to that so the youngest players are involved in futsal and movement skills and gymnastics and tournaments and festivals the older boys obviously getting involved in the Blades Cup floodlit competitions trips away to see Premier League football so they've, they've got a proper well-rounded experience while they're with us Lots of staff here, I say that in the nicest way, there's lots of staff here with a lot of expertise given to those kids as well. Absolutely, we've got a, a real good group of staff that come with a, a vast amount of experiences, so you'll just see the likes of young coaches like Jamie Anderson and Travis Binion who've been in the system themselves, who are young and enthusiastic and um, are learning and bring uh, great dynamism to the team. And then obviously we've got some of the senior heads in there as well, some more experience, the likes of Mick Wadsworth with a lot of um, Football League experience as a manager and as a coach, um, Brian Dean, uh, John Dunworth, people along those lines we've got, a, and I've probably left a few out there that I'll regret not mentioning, but we've got a real good complement of staff working, sports scientists, physiotherapists, coaches, it's a real good group of staff to be working with. The message this week on the EPPP shows you it's working, the productivity is working, this product is working and the players going through. What's the goal now? You obviously want to keep pushing on, that's the type of guy you are, the type of academy this is. You just want to keep pushing this on, won't you? Well, it's not just me. The manager is passionate about making sure that his squad in the long term is made up of young, enthusiastic players and, in particular, homegrown players. He's got a track record of putting young players in the team, even in the Premier League. He wants to replicate that here. So, moving forward, the the academy has got to be the, the lifeblood of everything that we do first team wise so that's important to increase productivity but to keep developing the programme as well um, but I can't keep saying it enough opportunity is the most important ingredient when we look around at other football clubs who can boast facilities and money and finance and all the glamorous stuff you cannot put a price on opportunity the, the chance at the end of that journey to cross the white line and actually represent someone's first team is the most powerful and important ingredient and thankfully we've got that which makes my life a lot easier